So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be interesting to see who has the other hand It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in the Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one. And there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again. And it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Throwing that jab, no good. Look at the force behind that leg. Good kick. sequence of kicks there by the Korean Super Bowl. Can't take many of those. You better check. Just missing on the counter there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Hands higher, hands higher. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Oh, big punch land. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, man, you could hear that one from here as he continues to punish his opponent with that hook. Our no-nonsense referee almost stepped in there. He almost stepped in because when you start flailing around the octagon, know that the ref has to. He has to. It is his job to save you. You don't want to be on the receiving end of too many of this guy's hook punches. Your boy George Allen might have stepped in That's and stopped my that guy. fight. You know, all swagged out. Too. George <laughs> Allen all swagged out, stopping fights. Look at the whip action that comes him throwing that kick. Right hook to the head blocked. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Lands with the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Pretty good right hand. Beautiful head kick. Punch over the top. Final set. Second, 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 and now his opponent 
in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got a hurt back. What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Mixing in some body shots. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes. He's taking beats. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Effective use of the jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Powerful leg kick land. Caught that kick there. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Big kick. And he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, that'll work. Counter jab to the head by Choi. Look at the turtle in that kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Short. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. How about that Shen? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Visibly limping here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at him drive his shin on the body with that body. body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he blocks, and he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. 
beautiful leg kick for him. Not there. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice head kick. Seconds winding down in round two. Big kick land. Nice combination there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. What a punch. Timely defense there, huge block for him. And he landed the right hand there. Big leg kick land. Connects now with the one two. Nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast, I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Joy's head kick looked like that. Here to stun him. Hughes hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Joy gets caught with that punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. There's no give on that leg kick. That shot blocked by Choi. Big leg kick land. Nice leg kick there by Choi. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice punch, Lance.
right punches there. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Missed with that right hand. Going orthodox now. Big kick land. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. 15 seconds to go. Leg kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see. These high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice. Look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. That was a thudding leg kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Real quick leg kick. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Short. Okay. Oh, where is he lands? It's maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That shot blocked by Choi. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Outstanding kick there by Choi. Just missed with the left there. Hands high, hands high. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Just a slip there. Just over three minutes to go. Wow. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Trying to establish that jab once again. They continue to exchange. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Joy gets caught with that punch. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, that kick is there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect place. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Counters with a straight hand here, and it lands. Nice job by Choi. Oh! 
remain in the round. A great punch landed with so much power. Plus right hand is true. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Back and forth we go! Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and marched right through it to get the big knockout. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 20 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by...